In semiconductor manufacturing, a low kappa is a material with a small relative dielectric constant relative to silicon dioxide. Although the proper symbol for the relative dielectric constant is the Greek letter kappa, kappa in conversation such materials are referred to as being low K, low K rather than low kappa, low kappa. Low kappa dielectric material implementation is one of several strategies used to allow continued scaling of microelectronic devices, colloquially referred to as extending Moore's law. In digital circuits, insulating dielectrics separate the conducting parts wire interconnects and transistors from one another. As components have scaled and transistors have gotten closer together, the insulating dielectrics have thinned to the point where charge buildup and crosstalk adversely affect the performance of the device. Replacing the silicon dioxide with a low kappa dielectric of the same thickness reduces parasitic capacitance, enabling faster switching speeds and lower heat dissipation. Topic. Low kappa materials The relative dielectric constant of silicon oxide, the insulating material still used in silicon chips, is 3.9. This number is the ratio of the permittivity of silicon oxide divided by permittivity of vacuum, epsilon silicon oxide, epsilon zero, where epsilon zero equals 8.854 times 10 minus 6 picofarads per micrometer. There are many materials with lower relative dielectric constants but few of them can be suitably integrated into a manufacturing process. Development efforts have focused primarily on the following classes of materials. Equals Topic. Fluorine doped silicon dioxide Equals, by doping silicon oxide with fluorine to produce fluorinated silica glass, the relative dielectric constant is lowered from 3.9 to 3.5. Fluorine doped oxide materials were used for the 180 nm and 130 nm technology nodes. Equals. Topic. Organosilicate glass or OSG carbon doped oxide or CDO equals by doping silicon oxide with carbon, one can lower the relative dielectric constant to 3.0, the density to 1.4 grams per cc, and the thermal conductivity to 0.39 with m k. The semiconductor industry has been using the organosilicate glass dielectrics since the 90 nanometers technology node. Equals. <laughs> Topic: Porous silicon dioxide. Equals. Various methods may be employed to create voids or pores in a silicon dioxide dielectric. Voids can have a relative dielectric constant of nearly 1, thus the dielectric constant of the porous material may be reduced by increasing the porosity of the film. Relative dielectric constants lower than 2.0 have been reported. Integration difficulties related to porous silicon dioxide implementation include low mechanical strength and difficult integration with etch and polish processes. Equals. Topic. Porous organosilicate glass carbon doped oxide. Equals. Porous organosilicate materials are usually obtained by a two-step procedure where the first step consists of the co-deposition of a labile organic phase known as porogen together with an organosilicate phase resulting in an organic-inorganic hybrid material. In the second step, the organic phase is decomposed by UV curing or annealing at a temperature of up to 400 degrees Celsius, leaving behind pores in the organosilicate low kappa materials. Porous organosilicate glasses have been employed since the 45 nanometers technology node. Equals. Topic. 
Spin on organic polymeric dielectrics equals Polymeric dielectrics are generally deposited by a spin-on approach, which is traditionally used for the deposition of photoresist materials, rather than chemical vapor deposition. Integration difficulties include low mechanical strength, coefficient of thermal expansion CTE, mismatch and thermal stability. Some examples of spin on organic low kappa polymers are polyimide, polynorbornenes, benzocyclobutene, and PTFE. Equals. Topic: Spin on silicon-based polymeric dielectric. Equals. There are two kinds of silicon-based polymeric dielectric materials: hydrogen silsesquioxane (HSQ) and methyl silsesquioxane (MSQ). Equals. Topic: Air gaps. Equals: The ultimate low K material is air with a relative permittivity value of approximately 1.0. However, the placement of air gaps between the conducting wires compromises the mechanical stability of the integrated circuit, making it impractical to build an IC consisting entirely of air as the insulating material. Nevertheless, the strategic placement of air gaps can improve the chip's electrical performance without compromising critically its durability. For example, Intel uses air gaps for two interconnect levels in its 14 nanometers FinFET technology. Equals. <laughs> Topic. See also. Equals. Dielectric High kappa dielectric Relative static permittivity <laughs>